Hi, if you're like me, you've started to think about how you can use the Internet of Things and some smart technology to make your home a little bit better connected. So today I'm going to show you how I use an Insteon hub and a wireless outlet to give me remote control over some of the outlets and lights in my house. This is not a deep technology review. This is more of a practical application of some of the technology that's available online. And I uh, hope this helps you think about how you can bring this into your own home. All right, here you go. This is the heart of the system. Basically, the Insteon Hub, this is the outlet that we'll be installing today. Nice little form factor, very simple. You have a power and Ethernet in the back and a reset button. That's it. Installation, when you first start this up and install your Insteon for Hub app onto your smartphone or tablet for the first time, uh, there's a QR code here. I'm not showing you that because all of the device info and data is uh, on the bottom of it, and I don't want to, for security reasons, share that. But... Uh, it's easy to, when you install, you take a picture of that QR code. All that data then gets attached to your account and allows you to remotely control this hub and have it connect into your home system. Now let's take a look at the outlet. All right, so this is what you get inside the box on the Insteon on-off outlet. Of course, you have the outlet itself. Um, this is a full replacement of what you have in the wall now. You've got tamper-resistant sockets. Uh, these are little LED indicator lights. You'll see when we activate the system uh, that those indicate whether the socket is on or off. Those are set buttons there. They'll be useful in setup. It comes, uh, as you would expect, a, a regular socket to have. You have your neutral, your hot, and your ground wires. And they even give you these uh, little package of wire nuts to make installation even easier. This is why I like this system. It gives me individual control over both sockets inside the outlet and uh, this is the only system that I could find at the time that allows me to do that really the reason why I bought the Insteon system to begin with so the reason I got these switches to begin with is right up there right that is a socket that was installed in the ceiling it's unswitched be able to use it to control lights on the outside of the house but to do that we got to install one of these remote controlled switches rather than be up on a ladder and show you how to do that Let's go inside the house and I'll show you how we do it on a regular socket. All right, here we are. This is the light socket that we're going to replace with the new Insteon socket. I want to let you know I'm definitely not an electrician. I'm a weekend warrior like most of you all out there. I have the damaged tools and the uh, neurological and memory problems associated with severe electrical shock from uh, not doing things right in the past. But I'll show you how easy it is actually to really do one of these things. One thing I have learned to get is a circuit tester. These are pretty cheap. You can get them at most hardware stores. It will tell you not only if you've wired up your circuit properly, it'll tell you where that circuit is on, whether you've turned off the, uh, the right sub-panel switch or not. So let's go turn off the power, start to take this apart. Safety first. All right, here we go. This shows me that the power is off. Um, I'm just gonna take this apart. We'll put it on time lapse. I love this part. This is my uh, anal retentive electrician. He wants to make sure all of the screws are lined up vertically. So a nice little detail there. But here we go. We'll put it on time lapse and speed things up for you. All right, typical weekend warrior thing. I've uh, replaced a face panel for two outlets with something that requires one square one. Uh, I didn't think ahead, so rather than run to the uh, local hardware store, I'm gonna run next door to my neighbor Steve who doesn't throw anything out, and I bet you he's got a face plate that I can uh, bum off him for a beer or something like that, maybe more a glass of wine. I'll be right back. Sure enough, I'm back, here we go little glass of uh, two buck chuck and I've got a new faceplate that I can cover this thing with. First things first, I've downloaded the Insteon for Hub app onto my iPad. I'm going to open that thing up. Now, I've already done this on my cell phone so um, I'm going to just log in using my other account and we'll get right to the uh, setup in just a second. All right, this is really the easiest part of the setup and I'm doing this as a temporary just to show you. But uh, here's the Insteon Hub. 
I'm going to plug in the power and the Ethernet, and that should activate the system. I should tell you that I've already routed my uh, internet connection uh, in my internet closet to this location. So as I plug this Ethernet in, um, this will go directly to my internet router and give me an internet connection. And really, it's about as easy as that. Green light's already on. We'll go to the next step. Okay, now that we've uh, installed the Insteon Hub, I'm going to start the app. Just for security reasons, I'm going to cover this up. And it's already logged me in. I've got some existing devices on there. Now we're going to go to a add a device, which is on um, the pull down menu on the right hand side. We're going to use wired in. Now it tells us press and hold the set button. All right, here's the outlet. All right, as you can see, it's testing. It's already added it in. All right, voila, this is exactly what I wanted. The new outlet shows up, and now I have control over each individual socket. I just turned off the upper socket. I can turn it back on. The green light indicates on my screen here the sockets that are live. This is exactly what I wanted. So there you have it, fairly easy install. I now have uh, wireless control over one of my outside outlets. They also make a panel that you can replace an interior switch with and not only let you control the lights that that switch was oriented to, but you can also program it to control your wirelessly controlled sockets. I'm going to install that next, uh, so watch that video and like this one if you will. Thank you.